started with Al Clifton, please. Hey, Taylin. Um, what was an 18 point lead for the Sixers heading into the fourth? You guys made it a two possession game with under a minute to go. Given the way the offense has been and the way in which you guys are trying to figure things out on that end of the floor, what do you like about that stretch that you can take with you guys moving forward? Um, you know, we just was talking about it. Uh, the last few games we had, I feel like we had uh, probably at least one quarter each game where we kind of, you know, kind of gave in and, you know, I feel like a lot of our guards up too. So just being able to, to realize that and focus so we could kind of fix it, uh, fix it the next game is something that's important for us going forward. So I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm actually excited that we were able to, you know, cut the lead down. So it's something to look forward to. With that said, how, how would you describe the mood right now? I mean, we all know that when you're down – the two superstars that you are, that it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys know that you can also win games and you have that confidence and you have that faith within yourself. What is the mood like right now? Oh, uh, we know he's trying to stay positive. You know, we took a few losses, but I feel like that's, that's what comes with the NBA season. You know, it's not early anymore, but uh, you know, given the guys that we have, um, you know, we're just going to come out and compete. You know, that's the only thing that we can do. Final one for me, just to have Mark back out there on the floor. I know it was in a, a limited role. Uh, mm -hmm. for him tonight, but breath of fresh air. Good to have him back. Oh, yeah, it's good. You know, any anybody that we get back is always going to be good to just incorporate them back in because I feel like we're when we're at our 100%, uh, I feel like there's nobody in the league that's better than us. Taylor, thanks for your time. Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Taylor. Um, you, were, you were mentioning a lot of, you know, rumored trades uh, in, the, in the last couple of days, and I'm just wondering if you took – any of that in how you might have sort of sat with that and, and what does it kind of feel like to still be on this team after coming out of the trade deadline? Uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I kind of, you know, just want to control everything. I uh, can control what I can control. So uh, I really don't try to focus on that, those things, you know, of course you hear it, but it's not something that, you know, I focus on, uh, you know, I just want to come out, you know, play the best basketball that I can for wherever I am. So uh, I'm just appreciative of still being here. You know. Dan Wicke. Taylor, um, kind of along those lines, you can find confidence in a, in a lot of different ways throughout the season. How much confidence do you draw from the fact that you know that this team wouldn't include you in anything, that, that, that they want you, uh, I guess, as badly as you want to be here? Um, I feel like, you know, it's just something that I feel like I have to, uh, I feel like take it and carry it with, I feel like uh, pride, really, just being able to, uh, you know, represent, you know, the Lakers is something that, you know, I feel like every kid wants. So just being able to be in this position is, is really good. So I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of it. Hey, what's going on, uh, Taylor? Uh, I, I wanted to ask you about just um, Trey kind of spoke on just being positive, you know, throughout this time and, and things of that nature. Not nothing that phase him where, where he come from, helped him just have that type of mindset. Can you elaborate what, what um, does your mindset just about around staying positive? Yeah, I feel like, you know, there anything that, you know, any trials and tribulations that you have on, if you stay positive, I feel like you'll come through. So just being able to have a mindset like that, you know, like you said, where he comes from, I feel like the same way with me. Uh, just being able to stay strong and, you know, stay weather the storm or something that's important. So I feel like it's going to be great for us. All right, do we have any final questions for Taylor? All right, PhD, appreciate your time, sir. Have a good evening. Thank you, guys.